Hello all, this is Florin and today I'm going to show you how to do form finding in Evoluted Tools Lite. Just before we start, we have a little announcement. We have a new build of the Lite version and now it's running perfectly fine on Rhino 5 in 32-bit mode. And we're working on a 64-bit version as well. Okay, I'll start with a really simple example. I'll create a mesh box first, starting from the origin something like this. I will extract uh, these faces and delete them. And because this is a primitive made out from uh, four faces, now I have to weld it in order to be able to work with it. And I will just copy it to the side and join this whole object. Okay, next step is to put some constraints in, like uh, anchoring some vertices and defining them as corners. Just select everything, and that's done. Now we have flagged the vertices to be corners and to be fixed. And the next step is to do a bit of subdivision, get a nice dense mesh. Great. Now, the main difference in this process is that we don't work with the reference surface at all. So we don't define any reference, we just work with what we have, with what we created. And in order to do form finding, we have to tweak these parameters a bit. And this is just the light version. It has fairness springs and fairness curvature. And if we look at fairness springs, what this parameter does is actually it simulates a spring between two vertices. And because of this, your mesh will act like, a, like an elastic material, like a membrane. So let's put something like 0.2 in and maybe a bit of fairness curvature. Okay, and then we just run optimize. Great. So it really does act like an elastic membrane. Uh, we also have to mention the fact that this is not an accurate way of uh, doing form finding. So these are not mathematically minimal surfaces. But it's good enough to, to play with and uh, explore some interesting shapes. The cool thing is that you can just delete faces and run optimization at any point. If we run optimize again, we'll have instant changes. Um, or, for example, if we want to fix this boundary into some other location, we just drag it around somewhere, fix those vertices, and then run optimize again. So this is a really cool way to do form finding with the free version with the Evoluted Tools Lite. And this allows you to explore some really interesting shapes for either architecture or design or whatever you want. You can just do another cutout, run optimization again, and we have an instant result. Great. Other really good examples for this type of form finding are 10 structures. So let's just draw one up. And the really nice thing about this kind of workflow is that it's really fast and it allows you to create some really interesting shapes pretty quickly without a lot of work. And we'll just join these faces together, uh, weld them, and I'll just raise this opening higher up somewhere. I can, I can copy this object a couple times, just to make things a bit more interesting. Right. And I'll join everything together again. Maybe weld it. Alright. I can play around with the height of these openings. Get a bit more diversity in the model. That's good. Now it's time to put some constraints in, like the fixed vertices. I'll just grab these ends here and define some corner vertices. Again, the corners just break the fairness at that specific point. All right, now I can do subdivision. Just get it as dense as you want. 
that should be quite okay. Another thing to do is to set these openings as fixed. Let's just get that done. Just so it's all these vertices at the openings. Get the other one. Okay. I can grab this vertex right here and just put it here. Okay, so next step is to run optimization and see how this stuff looks like. Grab the mesh and it's done. So you can create this kind of pretty cool tent-like structures very quickly. For example, if we want to move some vertices around now, the stuff that we have fixed over here, just drag it in some other place, run optimize again and the changes are pretty instant. Of course, we can shoot some holes into this mesh again. Get an instant update almost. So that's about it. So uh, compared to our usual workflow, this form finding doesn't imply using a reference surface. So it's just using a mesh that you created, setting some vertex fixed, and just using the fairness spring parameter to simulate a, an elastic membrane. Alright, thanks for watching.